is Kyle Crane dead or alive? Today in this video, we're going to be answering that question. Now, I did a community poll on my channel and over 36,000 people voted and out of all of them, 62% of people think Kyle Crane is alive. And trust me, they have some crazy theories to support this claim. Also guys, do leave your comments down below with your own theory so I can read them. In fact, right now, we're going to be looking at a few of the theories from my earlier post and at the end, I'll talk about the canon story and will later support that with a theory of my own. Here are a few of the interesting theories from the community. By the way, spoiler warning, this theory comes from Chilazilla who says, well, if you think about the opening cinematic to Dying Light 2, it mentions how Haran was wiped from the map, indicating that the canon ending for Dying Light the following was indeed the nuclear option. Also, the liquidator, a person found on the building in Dying Light 2, corrected Aiden when he asked who Crane is, to which he said, you mean who was he? And considering the liquidator apparently knew Crane, I think it's safe to assume that he definitely died in the events of the following. Sorry to burst your bubble, everyone. One. I do hope he's alive, but I don't think so. Honestly, this was short and simple, and I kind of agree with this theory. The whole city of Haran was wiped from the map, and that can only happen if there was a nuclear explosion in that area. Now, in the following DLC ending, you did blow up the whole place, so technically Crane should be dead because he was the one who activated the bomb and stood there until the bomb went off. Next theory comes from Dr. Caustic, who says, well, he's a sentient volatile. He looks like a volatile, but in the day he's himself. He's still Crane, but at night he loses himself to the virus and acts like the infected. Then he's himself in the day again. This actually makes up for a very interesting character, but it is also kind of sad because he must be living with a lot of sadness knowing that each night he will lose control and do God knows what. He's literally living as the thing he tried to destroy now. Well, so according to this theory, Crane never died and became a sentient volatile. But my question is, how did Haran get destroyed then? If Crane is a sentient volatile, then why has no one spoken of him as a sentient volatile being? Why is everyone talking about him as a hero? I still believe the other theory where he died, but honestly, I would love this side of the story. This whole idea of him being a sentient volatile just sounds very amazing and fun. The next theory comes from Gamer Fanatics, who says, I doubt he's still alive. Spike and the Liquidator both speak of Crane in past tense. And besides, it's been years and this isn't the same variant of the virus as before. The game's intro is a proof. The Haran virus was cured for a time, then the GRE couldn't stop themselves and tweaked it till it broke out again, becoming the stronger variant as we now know. If Crane did survive after the canon ending, then he most likely succumbed when the virus died from being killed. Hmm, so he has a point about Spike and Liquidator talking about Crane in a past tense. Like Spike said, I wish Crane was here to see this. But when he says I wish Crane was here to see this, it could mean many things. You need to remember Spike left Haran before Crane went for the countryside. Which means technically Spike has no clue if Kyle Crane is alive or dead. Also about Liquidator, his friends with Tolga and Fatin who obviously knew Kyle Crane and everything he did to save the people of Haran. In fact, they were even there in the countryside. Kyle Crane helped Tolga and Fatin escape the countryside by giving them the parts to build the train and to break the wall that was stopping them from escaping this place. So Spike and Liquidator both have no clue if Kyle Crane is alive or dead. But in my opinion, I still believe he's dead. Now coming to the next theory which comes from B for me who says he's definitely alive there was never a sign of him getting really killed of course many people got confused that he turned into a volatile night hunter or something but it was just a vision or a hallucination whatever i am on opinion that it was a memory of the mother before everything went to shit and the sound in the end was probably just like ringing for the new upcoming events or what we have seen it might just have been a memory turning in front of her family probably in the end you can see the man and her children this theory is actually interesting because this can actually happen. The mother was capable of doing all these things and this again could all just be a hallucination of Kyle Crane. Maybe the mother wanted to show Crane what would eventually happen to him or she was just showing her story to Crane. Because if you see at the end when he crawls out of the sewer it looks like another place where we don't have any infection and people are living in peace. How is that possible? How did Crane climb out of the sewer to find this city? That simply makes no sense to me. But here's another thing. What if the mother showed him all this just to convince him to blow up the city of Haran and the countryside to get rid of the virus. Because the mother knew there was no cure and the virus was airborne so people were slowly turning into the monsters. This theory actually makes sense. Now these were some of the amazing theories from the community. There are more of them so 
we're gonna be doing that in a different video. But I think it's time I talk about my own theory. Now let's start with the ending of Dying Light when Rise died. After Rise was killed, Rise men started attacking everyone in Haran. Nobody was safe and every place was being raided by them. But Spike played a heroic role by saving the lives of many people and giving them a shelter and even Crane helped Spike in this mission. Crane and Spike helped people escape Haran, but Crane and few other people like Dr. Camden and Dr. Lena both stayed in Haran while Spike took people through the sewers looking for another civilization or place to live. Anyways, Dr. Camden and Lena both were working on a cure for this virus, but they failed which made them desperate since the GRE also stopped delivering airdrops with antisons. Everything was going bad until one day when an injured guy arrives at the shelter and they tried saving that person but they couldn't do anything. The guy kept screaming and talked about magical stuff and domesticated zombies. In fact, he also talked about a group of people who don't get infected even if they are bitten. But what truly caught their attention was this map that showed them a way out of Haran. Later the guy dies calling out the name The Mother. Now as we all know the people of Haran were desperate and Kyle Crane had no other choice but to leave Haran so he could meet the people who don't get infected and also meet the mother. Kyle Crane leaves for the countryside and there he witnesses the true power of the mother where he sees her control the zombies and this got Kyle Crane really interested in knowing the truth. When Kyle Crane finally gets to confront the mother, he thought all of this would finally come to an end because the mother has a cure or something to stop the virus. But to his surprise, he was wrong because the mother showed him the reality and explained how she is able to control these zombies. She called this power a curse because during the day she is all good and is right in her senses, but during night she transforms into this monster who kills everyone including her own children. The mother mentioned that Kyle Crane would soon be like her as he has also been inhaling the same fumes that caused her to become a sentient volatile. Now to stop this, the mother gave Crane two choices. One to put this to an end by destroying the whole city with a nuclear bomb. Second was to go against her and well face the consequences. Now we all know that the nuclear bomb ending was canon but did you realize that during the fight there was a lot of times when Crane was transforming and was able to defeat the mother so easily after that. After this very moment, Kyle Crane started transforming and the moment he walks out of the sewer, he comes to this unknown place where the life was just going normally as if nothing ever happened. But then people started screaming at Kyle Crane and then Kyle Crane noticed that he has been transforming into a sentient volatile himself, which was exactly like the mother. Now this whole thing can just be a hallucination by the mother to convince Crane to blow up the city. But still, regardless of the choice, at the end the bomb explosion did happen. Since there are two different instances where Kyle Crane blows up the city of Haran and the countryside, it's kinda safe to say that no one this close could survive an explosion this big, especially a nuclear bomb which would simply get rid of every single atom from his body. So in short, he definitely died. The canon ending of Dying Light says the city was destroyed with a nuclear explosion and the whole city has been wiped off the map, which most likely means no survivors are left in Haran, everyone simply died. Now coming to Dying Light 2, Spike somehow knows Aiden Caldwell and they have been traveling together for a long time. But during my whole playthrough, I think I only saw Spike talk about Kyle Crane once and that too was for a few seconds. In fact, did you know that Haran virus was actually cured and everyone was living happily for some time? But the GRE is GRE. They did cure the Haran virus but because they were illegally experimenting on this virus, it somehow got loose and a new variant of the virus was found and this variant was more scarier and stronger than before and the rest is just history. Now here are a few things that you need to know as it's part of the theory. During the whole playthrough you only hear about Kyle Crane from 4 people out of which 3 of them are Tolga and Fatin and Liquidator. These three work together and the only memory these brothers have of Kyle Crane was the last time when they told Kyle Crane that they made it out of Haran safely. So considering this was the last time they talked, they would still have no clue about Kyle Crane if he's dead or alive. In fact, even Spike doesn't mention anything and says I wish Crane could have seen this. Now Spike also has no clue about him being alive or dead, but he knows that Kyle Crane stayed back in Haran during a bad time, so he probably thinks that Crane most likely died during that. So guys, that was my theory with all the facts that is available officially and publicly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Also don't forget to join Blood Vessels Discord channel and be a part of the vampire community plus get all the newest update. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then stay safe and stay human.